Let's see how we can use the empirical rule for normal distributions. The scores of a reference population on the Weschler Intelligence Scale for Children, WISC, are normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. We want to find a range of WISC scores which contain 95% of all WISC scores for the population. Let's first draw the distribution for the WISC scores. We know that the scores are normally distributed with mean 100 and standard deviation 15. So let's draw our graph. The center of the distribution will be at 100. Going out one standard deviation above the mean, we will be at 115. One standard deviation below the mean puts us at 85. Two standard deviations above the mean will be 130. Three standard deviations above the mean, 145. Two standard deviations below the mean will be 70. Three standard deviations below the mean will be 55. The empirical rule tells us that 68% of observations fall within one standard deviation of the mean mu, 95% of observations fall within two standard deviations of mu, and 99.7% of observations fall within three standard deviations of mu. We were asked to find a range of WISC scores which contain 95% of all WISC scores. So using the empirical rule, we know that we need to go out two standard deviations in each direction from mu. Two standard deviations above the mean of 100 puts us at 130. Two standard deviations below the mean puts us at, puts us at 70. So this range contains approximately 95% of all observations on the WISC score. And we have that 95% of all WISC scores are between 70 and 130 when the scores are normally distributed with mean 100 and standard deviation 15.